What's going on guys? In this video, I will be breaking down this simple recursive function and we'll be seeing exactly what goes on under the hood with each recursive call. So let's dive into this and let's take a brief look at what this function is actually doing. So now we're just going to break down this function. Uh, it's a pretty simple function. All you do is put in a number. If the number is less than 10, we print out the number or else we're going to print the number and then we're going to call itself. And but, but this time when we call itself, you have to be careful that, that we're not calling the number itself, but we're actually dividing it by 10. These two uh, backslashes, forward slashes. So these two forward slashes just mean that we're going to divide it and we're going to throw away the remainder. So we're, all we're concerned about is the divisor. Yeah, so it's a pretty simple function and we're going to test it out right now with the number 4003. So I'm going to run this function and we are going to print out the number and 4003. Oh, sorry. Right, let me just type that. Print numbers 4003. So as you can see, it output a bunch of numbers. And a lot of these numbers are coming from each recursion. So we're going to break down exactly what's going on and why it's outputting what it is. In order to do that, I've actually created an image that breaks down. It's sort of like a flow chart that breaks down exactly what's going on with, within each recursion. And here it is. So we'll break this down, figure out exactly why we're getting the output we are. Okay. So I, I created this sort of flow chart to help us break down exactly what's going on in the recursive function. This is my handwriting. Hopefully it's not too hard to read. I know it's not the, the prettiest, but you know, hopefully you guys have no problems understanding what's going on. So yeah, so I, I wrote the, uh, the original function. I wrote an outline of the original function pretty print here because uh, the function was originally in Spider, um, the IDE. So I, I sort of transferred the outline here so you guys could follow along what's going on. Okay, so we're going to start off with the number 4003. We originally, we put the number 4003 into this and we're going to see exactly what's going on. So we put 4003 into this uh, print recursion or pretty print. And if the number is less than 10, we print num, which our, in our case does not, it's not satisfied. So we'll print 4003, which is here. And we'll start the, the print recursive function, the pretty print. But this time, instead of 4,000, remember, we have to divide the 4,000 by uh, 10. So this will come out to pretty print 400 and print 4,003. So the outcome of the, of the function is print 4,003, pretty print 400, and print 4,003. Now, the problem is that this function ha doesn't have an output yet, and it's going to continue to recurse until it gets an output. So we have the print 4,003, we have this function, and we have another 4003. So this 4003 will not get called until we finish the outcome of this 400. So pretty print 400 is just 400 into this function. So we put 400. If number is less than 10, we print we print the number, which in our case, it's not being satisfied. So we do the else. We print the number, print recursion, and print the number again. So we print 400, start the recursion, but this time not 400, but 400 divided by a 10, which is 40, and then print 400. So the outcome of this is print 400, pretty print 40, print 400. So now this function is still not done, so we have to call it one more time. In this case, so we call pretty print 400, uh, pretty print 40. So the pretty print 40 prints out 40. So this pretty print 40 is just putting 40 into this number, uh, to this function. We put 40, doesn't satisfy the first case. So the second case is print 40, print recursion, and print 40. So print 40 print recursion or pretty print four. Remember, 40 divided by uh, 40 divided by 10 is four. So 40 divided by 10 is four, and we have 40 again. So we have 40, pretty print four, and pretty, uh, print 40. So, so now we're going to actually, we're getting to the end of this recursion function. And the, because the outcome of pretty print four is there is no more recursion after that. We have a, a, a solid output. We have a final output, which is going to be four. So the outcome of pretty print four is just four. So we have the outcome 40, four, and 40. So this is the final outcome, 40, four, 40. Now we sort of have to go backwards and unstack everything. Remember the original function was pretty print 400. So we kept recursing, we kept recursing, we kept recursing. And now we sort of have to go back through those layers and see what the output of pretty print 400 is. So the output of pretty print 40 is print 40, print 4, and print 40. The output of pretty print 40 is 4440. So this is the output, 4440. 
Now, we can take that 4440 and replace this pretty print 40. So here, the outcome will be 400, 40, 4, 40, 400. So it's 400, 40, 4, 40, 400. So this whole thing is 400, 40, 4, 40, 400. So the outcome of pretty print 400 is actually 400, 40, 4, 40, 400. So we take all that and we jam it in between the two print 4003s and that's how we get the final outcome that we did get when we ran the function. So that's 4003, 400, 4440, 400, 4003. You can see it's 4003, 400, then you have the 4440, which is the outcome of pretty print 40, and then you have the two 400s uh, sandwiching that, and then you have the two 4003 sandwiching that. So this was a pretty uh, simple recursive function. Uh, we, we were able to break down and see exactly what's going on and why the, these numbers are being outputted when we ran this function. Yeah, so hopefully this gives you a, a very clear understanding of what's going on behind the hood. I know this is a very simple recursive function. I, I plan to put some more intermediate recursive functions. So hopefully you guys will have a very solid understanding of what's going on with the recursive functions and use it and you can use it within your own code. And that's it for today. I will uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.